my 27 inch iMac is having issues. I thought it was something to do with maybe the fact that I've ripped and replaced pretty much every piece in it uh, eventually, <laughs> but it actually comes down to the SATA SSD. Um, it started slowing down on startup and it's weird uh, when your SSD actually starts to go out. In some cases, the write performance will drop off a cliff. In other cases, the read performance will drop off a cliff. Uh, I haven't had one completely fail. I've only had it begin to degrade. So I'm gonna show some numbers. Uh, you'll see that some of the performance is beginning to drop below 30, below 20 megabytes a second for the actual performance, right? Now I identified this because it just seems sluggish in some scenarios um, and I tested everything. I tested to see if it was the CPU, I tested to see if it was the GPU, all of that was working fine. And then finally, just on a whim, I ran a uh, disk check and boom, here we are. Performance is dropping off a cliff. It doesn't throw any errors, it's just the performance is starting to degrade. So I need to tear apart my machine and replace the disk. But before I do that, I wanted to back up everything that I had and make a new bootable disk. This can be well, it used to be much easier in Mac OS. You could literally clone drives um, with the disk utility. But uh, right around El Capitan, they removed some of that functionality and new software has jumped in to take the place of what disk utility used to be able to do. Um, now, in this uh, video, I'm just gonna cover the basics of cloning a disk from one to another. This isn't using Time Machine. This is literally saying, I want this to be bootable when I plug it in the next time I go to use my computer. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the software I'm gonna be using is super duper. Been around for a while, I trust it, used it a ton. So just go out to Google, search for super duper. Uh, it's made by Shirt Pocket and download the free version. You don't have to pay to do these kinds of simple backups and restores. Now you can just clone direct disk to disk. You can see I've got two different external drives connected. I've also got my failing A data as the primary. But what I'm gonna do is actually create an image of my uh, main drive as a backup, call it duplicate. Then with that image, um, I'm gonna keep a copy of it, but also take that copy, that image, and restore it to a one terabyte drive. All set up externally right now through, so, uh, through USB. And I'll have basically a backup image on one disk. Then I'll have my now new primary bootable uh, one terabyte SSD. So once again, fairly straightforward. Uh, that is the lay of the land here. And then in the future, what I can do is just open up my computer, tear out the old disk and put the new one in. Straightforward process, really simple to do. Like I said, back up an image, save that, and then restore that image onto your new drive. Uh, of course, just note, if you start clicking around too much and you select something, um, or if you're not seeing the drive, you could format it before uh, basically going through this process. Um, you know, super duper will set everything up. Sometimes the drives won't show up though if they're not formatted correctly. So just you know, use disk utility hand in hand with super duper to get it going. Okay, so we're at the next stage. Seeing if we can actually boot into my newly cloned disk. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the machine and hold down on option because I don't want it to boot into the old one. And I should see the old drive as well as the new external drive show up in the list as well. And I'll select that, we'll get it booted, but uh, should be okay. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've selected the SSD on boot by holding down option and the machine is now turning on. Uh, you can hear it quite a bit more because if you replace the original hard drive with an SSD, there's no temperature sensor, so it freaks out a little bit. Once the max fan control software kicks in, the fan should come back to normal, but as you can see, the uh, basically cloned disk started up, had all my users, has all my software and applications, still holds the exact same startup uh, login items as well. That's why you can hear the fan now spun down because the software started up. So yeah, uh, a very easy way to completely clone your operating system from one disk to another and make it bootable and make sure that everything that you've authenticated into is still there. So a really slick solution, I like it a lot. I'm basically ready now to tear this machine open and drop it in for real now that I've done this quick test. All right, so there you have it. Short, sweet, to the point, I now have a, uh, an external drive that is completely bootable with everything I already had running. It even pops open the same apps that you got. So uh, everything ready to rock. So now, 
that I'm using an external drive with my 27 inch iMac, you know, spoiler alert, I'm gonna actually be tearing apart my 27 inch 2011 iMac again, and I've got a K2100, as well as a Xeon chip with quad core eight threads that I'm gonna drop in place of the i5 2500 that was in there already. So I'm gonna actually do a uh, disk swap a GPU swap and a CPU swap all in the same go. Um, that means flashing the BIOS of that K2100. It means seeing if this Xeon works. I think it will, but uh, it's a little bit speculation on my part because I didn't do a ton of research before going after this. Uh, and then I'm also gonna be, of course, replacing the disc that we just uh, went ahead and cloned in this video. And I'm gonna be putting in a hard drive as well um, to basically mitigate the fan uh, spinning up and having to use a software solution for the for basically making sure that the fan sensor that is built into the hard drives, which when you replace the hard drive, you remove that, uh, make sure that that one works as well. So this is gonna be really cool. I'm now ready because I've got my uh, operating system all cloned and ready to rock, but uh, on to the next step. If you like the video, subscribe, like, all that kind of fun stuff because my next video coming up here uh, within a week or two is gonna be yet another teardown of the 27 inch 2011 iMac and uh, replacing pretty much everything inside it to see how the performance is. So I'll do some testing beforehand as well. All right, see you in the next one.